All right. I have an update in the Cameron Sutton. Uh, I think we can call it a situation at this point. Um, and it comes with news. Uh, the Detroit Lions have officially released Cameron Sutton today as of Thursday. Uh, he's been released. He's been released by the Detroit Lions after an arrest warrant for his domestic violence charge. Now, earlier yesterday, the status of the charge did change from a domestic violence with battery to domestic violence by strangulation. Uh, and it was also said that someone was thrown from a third floor, a uh, third story window. The person that it was has not been identified by the police yet, but it's suspected it is his long term girlfriend. Uh, and forgive me because I don't have her name right now, but I could get it. Um, but yeah, suspected it is his long term girlfriend um, that he met in Pittsburgh when he was with the Steelers. Um, and her name is Courtney Alexander. So it's suspected that it is Courtney Alexander. But again, that has not been confirmed. What is what has been confirmed is he has been officially well, he has officially been released by the Detroit Lions. Um, so that must mean that some phase of his contract was voided or there's some or, or the morality clause has kicked in uh, detrimental to team health or, or whatever. Whatever the cl case may be, it is clicked in. And he's he's no longer a Detroit Lion. So I know some people are going to be rejoiced because of, of the, the season that he had and it didn't work out. Um, I would say, though, have like a little bit of maturity with the situation, if you can, um, because it has still not been determined that this brother is alive. Um, and there are two sides to every story. I'm not going to make her make no excuses for him um, because I don't know what happened, good or bad, right? But the, the thing is, though, I mean, the guy has, I mean, is he on a run or is he missing? Like, we don't know. He hasn't been home. He hasn't been to his home. Um, he hasn't been in contact with his family. He hasn't been in contact with the NFL. Uh, so prayers that he is still, you know, on earth with us. And this is not going to be a more tragic situation. Um, and prayers to everybody involved. But with that being said, we now have to switch focus on to who we believe could take over. Uh, at that cornerback spot. And that is why today I want to talk about none other than Ennis Rakestraw. So, um, yeah, we'll be back with that video, though. <laughs> 